Hey, welcome back to Fat Mama Physics. If you are watching this seventh part of the long series of videos I made for kinematics and you're watching it as a bonus, great, awesome. You're doing a fantastic job and you're challenging yourself. Kudos to you. In this problem, I am going to do this pro um I'm going to go over this entire problem. So here's a chance for you to look at the problem, uh, for you to try it out. And I tell you it's not easy. There is multiple steps involved, so good time to pause and give it a try before I dive in. Okay, so let's get started. First, let's try to break this problem down. We have, oh, the Armored Titan. Mm -hmm. If you know the reference from Tackle Titan, this thing started from rest. Hi, it's a thing, I'm kidding. He is chasing Armin, poor Armin, running for his life at 10 meters per second. If the armor titan was accelerating at 33.3 .3 meters per second squared and ooh, just a kilometer behind poor Armin, how long does it take the armor titan to catch up to poor Armin? Oof, that is a lengthy problem, which needs a diagram. Uh, I'm gonna, let's draw a picture here. And I think I'm going to run out of space. I'm going to draw this picture over here. So we have an armored titan and it's running after Armin. So let's put the titan here. And this titan is going to chase after Armin, which is he is only one kilometer away from him. Poor Armin. I'm going to put this direction as my positive direction. And let's start labeling a few things. We know that this armor titan here, which um, I'm just going to label him as T, and Armin as A, titan. So his initial velocity, we know, he starts from rest. This is zero meters per second. Armin apparently was already running for his life at 10 meters per second. It doesn't say in the question that he is accelerating. So we can safely assume that he is running at 10 meters per second at constant speed. And he's only human, right? So there's no way that he can go really, really much faster than that, potentially. So his velocity, which I'm just going to write it like that for Armin, is 10 meters per second. We also know that the uh, Armor Titan is accelerating at 33.3 .3 meters per second squared. And they have a distance of separation of a hundred of uh, one point zero one point zero kilometers. And actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the sig figs of this one point zero. I'm going to change it to one point zero zero kilometers, which gives us another sig fig. And uh, no, you can't do this in the question. Only I can. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. So that we know is a uh, thousand meters. So we know that. Sorry, that's not in sig figs, but uh, alas. We want to find the time it takes the Titan to catch up to poor Armin. That, now, if we put this into perspective, if we had, if this picture here was paused in time, what would happen after the Titan catch ups, catches up to Armin? is that Armin would have ran maybe up to here, okay? And the t Armor Titan would have traveled this far, and they would have encountered each other sometime over here, okay? So that is where they would meet up. Armin runs for a bit, and assuming Armor Titan catches up, they would meet at the same spot. If they meet at the same spot, the Armor Titan would have traveled, and I'm going to write this down. He would have traveled uh, at least a thousand meters. But that's not it. There's this little extra distance from where Armin is to where they clash. We don't know what that distance is, and I'm going to label that X. So that's a thousand meters plus X. As for Armin, he is going to run, well, he would have ran just the X distance where he clashes with the Titan. So we know something about the distance that they traveled. We also know that the time it takes for them to reach this destination point, this spot over here, is the same. The time that Armin takes to run that X distance is the same time that 
the Armored Titan travels a thousand meters plus the X distance. So here is what we know and what we don't know. Notice something. Notice we have two unknowns. We have the X here, but we don't know, and we don't know the time. So when we have two variables, we have two unknowns, what we need is we need two equations to solve for that. This is a little bit more complex than the things we've dealt with before. So how do we come up with these two equations to describe motion? Well, let's start with Armin and the attack uh, armored titan. There are two equations that we can summarize, you use to summarize their motions. So for the attack, the armored titan, I'm going to use a different color. Let's use brown, I think. Maybe this is brown. And we know that U, A, S, and T will need, can be summarized using the following kinematics equations. And this is assuming you know it, you, you kind of know the kinematics equations oh, quite well, relatively well. So we have this. S, T equals to U, T plus one half A, T squared. And this U is for the Titan. This acceleration is for the Titan as well. We can even substitute some values in because we know the, uh, the armor Titan travels, would have traveled that far, a thousand plus an X, the X distance. He has zero initial velocity. So that's just zero times anything is zero. We have one half times this acceleration, 33.3, I'm going to leave out the units for now because we're going to do something later, times t squared. So that's our first equation for the armored titan. Then for Armin, which I'm going to use green for scouts, haha, the, he has a displacement of x. So his displacement is his velocity times the time, which we know that sa his displacement is x and his constant velocity of 10 times t. Now we have two equations and they all have both have two variables in common, the x and the t. So what we can do now is we can substitute one equation into the other one and solve for the second variable. Since in this question we're asked to solve for the time, Let's substitute in x over here for Armin's equation over to the attack, the armor titan. So we have a thousand plus that 10t. On the other side is one half 33.3 times t squared. Ooh, ouch, we have a quadratic again to work with. So that needs a quadratic equation to help us solve this. So let's put everything on one side of the equation and work with a quadratic. You know, this is our A term, this is our B term, and this is our C term. So that when we do use our quadratic, we have the following, making sure that all the negatives get substituted in as well. So let's put this in our calculator. I am going to use addition because I'm solving for time and likely to get a positive time if I use the adding function. So I didn't uh, divide by two and a half because these two just cancels out. Okay, so I get my time as 8.055 seconds which I'm going to round to three sig figs, 8.06 seconds. I didn't realize how much I uh, gone off the page. Sorry about that. I needed the extra space. Definitely wouldn't have fit in here. So we have found that this time is 8.06 seconds. Okay, we can do a quick check. We are supposed to get a positive value, so that checks out our seconds, well then, hoo hoo. So we can quickly go through this quadratic very quickly. This 10 over here is Armin speed, meters per seconds, and uh, I'm adding this whole quadratic thing here, which is 
uh, 10, also meters per second, so meters squared over second squared. So here I have an acceleration times the distance. So that is meters per second squared times distance again, giving us also meters squared over second squared for both terms. Apples minus apples gives us more apples, so it's still apples. Take the square root, which gives us meters per seconds. So for the top, we add the two meters per seconds. That's still meters per seconds because apples plus apples is apples, more apples. A here is 33.3, uh, so that's acceleration from the armor titan in meters per second squared. Whenever you divide by a fraction, it's the same as you multiplying by the reciprocal. So here we can get rid of these, leaving us units of seconds. So units check out the, um, the value here around 8 seconds. And it's imaginable. I mean, the, a titan, a ta the armor titan is going pretty fast, so um, it wouldn't take that long for him to to reach where near where Armin is. So time is relatively reasonable. And uh, sec so next question is, how far would our the armor titan have moved when he catches up to poor Armin? So this is asking for his displacement. And that's including the 1,000 meters he's traveled in the beginning. So what we need to do is uh, the attack titan here, we know this is his uh, 1,000 meters plus x based off of this over here. I'm going to pretty much use this for all of these questions, so I'm not going to redraw everything again. So we know what the... Um, we... We don't have the x, so that's a problem, but we do know that his displacement can be found using this other equation that we've set up that uses time instead of the x over here. So this whole thing is st is equal to his in, the time's initial velocity times time plus one half his acceleration t squared. And his u, his initial velocity is zero, so we can just eliminate that. So really, how much he's traveled is one half his acceleration times the time that we found squared. Substituting all that in, we get his time is 8.06. And of course, I'm going to keep all the digits. We get 1080.559. And rounding up to three sig figs, that's roughly about 1,080 meters. Hey, that kind of tells us that since the attack titan ran for 1,000 meters and a little bit more, the X is probably this 80 meters here. So Armin only moved 80 meters before he got, uh, uh, before he encountered the armored titan. So that's cute. Quick check here. So we got a positive displacement, which is good. Uh, units wise, so we have, I'm going to do this work all the way over here. His acceleration is meters per seconds times the time squared. The seconds cancel, leaving us with meters. Units check out. And we just assess this value here. So Attack Titan would have traveled 80 uh, meters extra to catch up to Armin. And if you think about it, if, the, uh, if Armin took 8 seconds to travel, so 8 times 10, which is his velocity, 8 times 10, gives us about 80 meters of Armin's travel time. So that 80 meters uh, makes sense as well. Of course, all that falls apart if we found the wrong thing, if calculated the wrong time and everything. How fast would the armor titan be moving when he catches up to poor Armin? So this how fast is telling us we want to find the titan's final velocity. So we know a lot of things already, in fact. We know his initial velocity. We know his acceleration. We know the time it took him, which is 8.05 seconds, not rounded up. We can use this following kinematics equation to help us solve, which is V 
law equals u plus a t. And all we just have to do is substitute in all our values to give us our final velocity of our attack, uh, armored titan. Initial velocity is zero. Acceleration is 3.3 meters per second squared times the time of 8.05, etc. in seconds. Putting that all in our calculator gives us 26826. And we're going to round that to two, three sig figs, two, six, eight meters per second. Okay, doing a quick check to see if this value makes a lot, makes sense. So it's positive, which is good. The direction should be positive. The uh, units, we have meters per second squared times seconds. One of the seconds cancel, we leaving us with meters per seconds. The value here around 268. Well, I mean, if the Titan has to go at, has to catch up to Armin at eight seconds and a thousand meters behind, I would imagine the ten, Titan would be running pretty quickly near the very end. Eh? So I would say this does have, it does make some sense, I would say, because eight seconds is not a lot of time to cover a thousand meters, if not a little bit more than that. So we have done all our checks for our problems here is the uh, challenge problem i sound really tired don't i <laughs> sorry about that but um hopefully you've gotten a few notice that bonus questions kind of ask for more comprehension of a problem being able to frame a problem so that you so that you have ways to treat it but also assumes that you have the necessary tools to tackle such problem. And such tools uh, oftentimes, yes, they are mathematical in some sense, but there may be certain ways around it. For example, here we had this quadratic. You could easily have used a graphing calculator. You could have done that instead or such. But of course, knowing the math makes it a little bit easier for us. If you gave this problem a try, good for you, okay? Love it that you're taking on challenges. It doesn't matter if you're getting it right or wrong. If you tried it and you successfully got through most of, most of it, if not solving the whole thing, man, good for you. <laughs> so thank you for getting through with me on these videos, on this video, and as well as all the videos before, if you've watched them all. Good luck with your endeavors. I will see you back for more kinematics. Fat mama physics.